happy couples going on dream vacation. Meet Scott Allen and Peggy Tillinghast. He's a phlebotomist who likes volleyball and speed skating. She's a fourth grade teacher who enjoys traveling and rollerblading. Meet Brian Worley and Alyssa Horn. Both of them are production assistants. He likes watching TV and exercising. She enjoys horseback riding, kickboxing, and rollerblading. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever. The new Shop Till You Drop. And here's the host of the new Shop Till You Drop, Pat Finn. Hello, thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, an excited crowd here today. I hope you're excited to be watching at home. If you're not yet, you will be as you meet our contestants, I'm sure, because good teams here. First of all, Alyssa and Brian, welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you two are friends, right? How did, how did you two meet? Uh, well, we went out country dancing since we're both from Texas, and we found out that we both know friends from Texas. So you met country dancing? Out That's here. right. That wasn't a country dance we were seeing at the top of the show, though, was it? Uh, no, that was disco. Okay, good. Just, just to keep it straight here. Uh, Peggy and Scott, also friends. Now, how do you two yep. know each other? We skate on the same um, inline speed team. I feel so I feel so boring. Dancers and <laughs> uh, speed skating and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, you two on the toss, so you get to go first. You ready? Yeah, ready. Come with right. me. Stand right here and listen very carefully, because at this point in the game, you could pass the stunt if you decide that you want to do that. Okay. Speaking of listening, what's that? Look, it's Shop Man Duck. Right into the wall. I am so sorry. Oh. Are you okay? oh, that was a bad one. I just flew in from Jersey and my arms are so tired. <laughs> I crashed. Shopman, what big muscles you have. <laughs> yes. I'm heightened in a big way. <laughs> well, your job, if you can do it, is to put Shopman back together again because I'm going to show you two pieces of Shopman with prices on them. And all you have to do is pick the price you think is correct for each product on our wall right here. Now let me tell you about the products on the wall. First of all, we have the, the cap smokeless grill at the top. Below that, we have the food processor. Then we have the Rowenta steam iron, the Proctor Silex toaster, and the Krupps espresso machine. Now as we do this, you'll be taking a body part with the price and you'll race it over to the shopman and attach it to his body. And if you can get three of the five correct prices on shopman in 60 seconds, you guys will win. Okay? Got it. What do you think? Pass your play. Play? We're going to play. Let's yeah, we're play. Gonna play. It's going to be fun. Okay. All right. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock, and we're going to work our way around. I guess we'll work our way up from... Okay, we'll start off with the first one here. Uh, as we do this, we have time on the clock. Ready, set, and tell me, for the smokeless grill, 45 or $80? 45 or $80? 45. 45. Right, right. Next one can right back here for his left arm. Thirty dollars for the boot boxes. Thirty. 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 Okay. Oh, next we got one, a hand right there. Thanks. Stand right there. Thanks. Thanks. Stand right okay. there. Next one for his right arm. Right. The iron. Forty. Sixty dollars or forty dollars. Forty. Thank forty dollars. Oh, I knew you could lend a hand. Thanks. All right. Okay. Oh, Next one for the left leg. Is it twenty dollars for the toaster? Twenty. 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 20. 20. 20. Okay. Oh, I could use a leg up. Thank you. Finally, for the right leg, espresso machine at fifty-five dollars seventy. You say seventy? Get it over there. I am complete. Have put Shotman back together again. I live. It's alive. Okay. You need to get three out of five right in order to win the stunt. So as we do this, we'll work our way down from the top. First of all, smokeless grill, you said is $45. So come over here, the smokeless grill is actually $80. So you can't keep that one, and we'll get that hat off of him. All right, next we'll go over here for our iron, which you said was $40. Oh, please, we'll come please. over here to the steam iron, and the actual price of the steam iron is $60. So we'll have to take this right, off. Not my right. Okay. Here's the bottom line, you need the next three correct in order to win. Food processor, $30 you said, food processor, that, that would be a good buy because the food processor $50, didn't do it, and get that off. <laughs> Let's work our way to the bottom. By the way, the espresso machine, $70, and the espresso machine is actually $70, so you got that one right. And the toaster you put at $20, toaster is actually $10, so what's that one? So as you uh, hop on out of here. I'm going to get hopping. <laughs> All right, we'll head back to center quarter of our mall. Goodbye, shop man. Sorry, you guys. Didn't do it there, but you'll get the chance again in just a few moments. In the meantime, Alyssa and Brian, are you ready? Yes. Come with me. Let's just stand right here. 
And in a moment, we'll give you a chance to play because our next game is about unusually named products, but with a new twist. Get it? Because on, on the floor, as you can see, we have two sets of six store names in the green squares for Alyssa and the purple ones for Brian. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you an unusual product, and you'll tell me, and I'll actually tell you which hand or foot to place on the store square where you think you would find that product. And if you choose the right square, you'll hear this, and that means you'll keep your hand or foot there. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this, and you'll try another store name. If you can match all four product names to the correct stores in one minute, you guys will win. Okay? Got it. Let's put you into position here. Okay. Let's see your green. green. Are you ready? And put the time on the clock ready. and move ready? as quickly as possible. Put your left hand where you would most likely find an anorak. An anorak. It's a jacket. It's a jacket. It's a jacket. Clothing. 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 Clothing store is right. Very good. That's one. Put your right foot where you'd most likely find a chevonet. Chiffonet. Where would you most likely find a chiffonet? Furniture store. At a furniture store. Furniture store. It's right. Yeah, it's a large dresser. Very good. Next one. Put your right hand where you'd most likely could buy a zither. A zither. Kitchen appliance. Kitchen appliance. Kitchen No, that's wrong. Keep trying. Where would you find a zither? Music store. Music. Music. No, I'm right here. Oh, Make sure no, you have your right hand. Green. Music store. Music oh, store. Oh. Okay, both right hands on the music store. And Mike, that's a musical instrument. Very good. And finally, where would you get an aglet? At what store would you most likely Kitchen. find a lot of aglets? Left foot. Put the left foot there, please. Left foot. Where are you going? Kitchen. 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 Kitchen is not correct. Quickly. Okay. Left foot where you find Bakery. aglets. Bakery. 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 <laughs> Almost, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, it's a shoe store. It's those little things in your shoe. Come right over here. No points there. Tied score, anyway. Hey, no one's in the lead. When we come back, we'll double the point values for our stunts and at least double the fun after this on the new Shop to Go ahead. Welcome back. We're about to go into round two. Stunts are now worth 200 points apiece, which is good news for you guys because you need some yeah. points. Yeah. Alyssa and Brian, come with me right over here, if you will. You get to go first this time, and you can pass at this point in the game if you decide that that's what okay. you want to do. Right. Now, believe it or not, but an entire shipment of products fell off the back of one of our trucks, and they were smashed to bits. And, well, we gave them to Dee to ask him to put them back together again, and you know Dee. Ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, young man, can I interest you in a pepperoni flavored snow cone? They're on special this week. Mm, no, thank you. But how about a demo so we can show people how this is going to work? Why, of course, nice young man. <laughs> thank you. What nice I've done is I've man. frozen this in a block of ice. Oh, it is cold. Okay. This is, this is for demo purposes. Take a look at okay. that and see if you could guess from seeing what you see here. You know, we see a speaker, other Dream items. Machine. Yeah, Dream Machine. It would have been this radio okay. right here. So that's, gonna, that's the way it works. If you can do that all along, you'll do just fine. Let me give you those back, all right? Now, all right. I'll reveal Dee's monstrosities one at a time. When you think you know what the product was, you'll race it over to one of our products right here. Okay. And let me tell you about the products that we have on the table. First of all, you can see the hair dryer down at that end. Next to that is the handy chopper. Then we have the can opener. Then we have the coffee grinder. It's a hand mixer. And finally, the telephone. <laughs> if you can identify four of the six products in 60 seconds, you guys will win. What do you think? Pass or play? We'll play. We'll play. Okay. We'll play. Very good. That means we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Okay. Ready, set, and here is your first one. Number one coming okay. out. Take a look. Let me see. Um, Yell out what you see. Oh, it's a can opener. Can opener. Can opener. Okay. okay. Right here. Next one we have for you here. Okay. Take a look closely. What do you uh, see? Got it's got a screen. It's got a screen filter type of thing. What else do you see? If you have time at the end, you can switch, so you can move on if you okay, want, and switch at the end if you need to. Put it as a processor, processor. Put it over there. Next one we have for you here. Okay. Take a look at this. What do you see? Plastic, um, more plastic. Um, motors, motors, um, what's that? Okay. Let's just put it. Okay. Okay. Take a look at this. What do you see on this one? Okay. Good luck, you guys. Uh, uh, these aren't anything. Um, looks just like the last one. Okay, it's got this small hole on the top. Okay. Okay. Next one. What do you see here? The phone. The phone. Okay. okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Okay. That was 
in process of going over there. We'll actually set that and we'll see how well you did because you need to get four out of the six right in order to win this stunt. It was a tough one, wasn't it? Because you had to look very closely for little, little defining features as you were going along here. First of all, you thought this was the hair dryer. Hair dryer would be uh, number two. This is number five, so that's not right. This was actually the coffee grinder. You can see, look at the ridges here in the, the plastic, just like the ridges on that one. So can't give you that one, but you need to get just four right in order to do it. We'll come over here next. Well, this, as you can see, is the screen that goes with a hair dryer. So uh, this is the actual hair dryer. And uh, you got that one wrong too, I'm sorry to say. Right, four, Over four, here, four, four, four. this is the can opener. I you hope you, saw, you thought that this was the can opener. And uh, number one is the can opener. And you knew that because the blade is in here. Very good. See the blade on that one. Next one, we know the coffee grinder is wrong. You actually had up here, this was the handy chopper. And you know it's the chopper bite. Look at, see the blade right there? See the blade, oh. chopper blade? We sorry, I can't we give you that one. Uh, next one we have for you, the hand mixer. And if you look inside here, I see mixing blades. You got that one right. Very good. And last one here for the telephone. Uh, well, you can see a keypad and the whole bit and a telephone. Okay. Not enough right to win the stunt, though, you guys. Back here to the stage. <laughs> Sorry. You're great at answering questions. I know it, aren't you? I hope, anyway. All right, Peggy and Scott, you get your turn right over here, please. <laughs> We're about to have a little more fun. Well, they say that you can tell a lot about a person by going through their garbage. In fact, D, uh, how would you like people going through your garbage? D? <laughs> no way. You saw what happened to Fabio. It's not happening to me ever, man. <sighs> Just take your trash and get on out of here. Who are you calling trash, man? <laughs> By the way, the trash in our other garbage cans has been taken from the sets of classic TV shows. Now, in a moment, you two are going to be rummaging through the cans for pieces of trash that can help you identify which shows they came from when you think you know what the show was, what the trash items associated with are. You just yell it out, and if you're right, you'll hear this, and then we'll go on to the next one. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this, and that means you just try again. But if you can figure out all four of the TV shows in one minute, you'll win. So you have to move very quickly. Oh, by the way, just to make it a little bit more interesting, to get you close to the trash, Peggy will ask you to get in each of the oh, trash great, cans great. as you're doing this. All right? All right, all right. All right. All right. Why don't we put one minute on the right clock? Now? Ready, set, and go. Sure. All right, all right. Okay, right. look for stuff in there. Watch it don't fall. Watch it don't fall. Pull out what you see. Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island. That was a life vest. Very good. Next one, quickly. What do you see? Pull out stuff. What do you see? That's uh, a drum of some sort. And uh, it says the Tropicana on there. And a hat. No, no, no. Keep trying. Keep trying. Anything else for you? It's a, a drum, the Tropicana, a straw hat. I love Lucy's right. Very good. Next one. Take a look inside. What do you see? Uh, no, that's an astronaut's helmet. Keep trying. There's more stuff in there. What's that? What, what do you see? What else do you see in there? Keep pulling out. What do you see? Oh, there's more stuff in there. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. What do you see? There's a whole bunch of stuff. I have genie. I give him genie. I do genie. Right. You got one more to go. Quickly. 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 Classic TV shows. Quickly. What is this from? Uh, keep looking for more stuff. What is it? What TV show? What TV show? What TV show? No. Keep trying. TV show. So close. Oh. If I said that uh, this was a cousin on the TV show, would that have helped? Oh. Adam's, oh. The Adam's family. Yeah, I'm sorry. Pugsley shirt, Ooh. the whole bit. Come on out now. You can help her out if you like. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know, we've got some great questions for you guys. Hopefully, they'll have great answers. You can play along too at home right after this on the new Shot to the Garage. Don't go away. Welcome back. It is time for our Shoppers Challenge round, and not a moment too soon, I might say. Somebody's going to score in this round, I know it. In fact, 50 points for every question you get right at the end of the round. The team with the most points will go on to shop till they drop, okay? Ladies in the position, here's a minute 30 seconds on the clock. Good luck to both teams. If you don't look good, we don't look good. Is the slogan of what hair care company? Three seconds. It's Vidal Sassoon. Switch places. Sarah Lee, Quaker or Kraft? Who makes Cool Whip? Yes, Scott. Craft. No, that's wrong. Bro. Charlie. That's right. Fresh water, black, and cultured are all types of what? Yes, Alyssa. Pearl. Right. For what movie did Frances McDormand win a best, best Actress? Yes. Margo. That's correct. What chocolate company makes the chocolate morsels known as kisses? Yes, Peggy. Hershey's. Correct. 10, 100, or 1,000. How many years did Sleeping Beauty sleep before her? Yes, Scott. 100. 100 is right, before she was awakened. 
Which TV car commercial character did David Leisure play? Joe Azuzu, Mr. Whipple, or the Maytag repairman? Yes, Peggy. Azuzu. That's correct. The Beatles, the Eagles, or the Rolling Stones? Whose greatest hits record was recently certified as, yes. The Eagles. As the best of all time, that's right. In what country does the Cannes Film Festival take place? Not in time, it's France. Which teenage country singing sensation won the 19th? Yes. Leanne Rhymes. Grammy, that's correct. Steinway and Baldwin are famous makers of what? Yes, Peggy. Piano? Yes. Oh. Banana Boat is a brand of what? Yes, Scott. Suntan Lotion. Correct. What True Lies co-stars the daughter of Tony Curtis and Janet Lee? Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh. Mama Celeste makes frozen yogurt, pot pies, or pizza. Which is it? it in time, pot Scott. pies. No, that's wrong. Oh. Do you know? Frozen yogurt? No, it's pizza. Is Armor All good for your car, your VCR, oh. or not in time? And Peggy and Scott. Oh. Shot me oh. Oh, group hug. <laughs> We're going to come back. Don't stop till they drop right after this. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. Congratulations, Thank you guys. You. Did very well in the question and answer round. And now's your chance to win the dream vacation. Yeah. To where, D? You're going to be going to Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> Cristal Cancun, superb Mexican hospitality featuring a private Caribbean beach club, water sports, tennis, racquetball, powder white beaches, and fine dining. From Cristal Cancun. Shop till you drop travel arrangements provided by American West and Travel Savers. The nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. Over 2,000 locations nationwide. Travel Savers. 800-726-SAVE. Good luck, you guys. We're going to give you a minute 30 to run around the wall and get $2,500 okay, worth of prizes. Ready, set. Oh, sure, you're opening the boxes. He's got to ride. You can do it. Ready, set, and go. Look inside the big box. Go, go, go. Heading upstairs with the Virginia Metal Trap. Stopping off at Bob's Camera Shop, but not for long. Wait, be careful there. Hit the bell. Next one. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall. Over to Andrew's heart, Mark. The throw and the catch. Next one we have the Oneida Julia's 10 inch bowl. There you go. Bowl is going to Heidi's Housewares. Okay, get it over there and hit the bell. Okay, next box we have an Oryx vacuum. Taking the Oryx vacuum to RCA DMG Music and Video Store. Next one, Tommy Tang's gift set. Be careful. Stopping off at the greener. Look at that action. He's moving. Oh, be careful, be careful. You okay? You okay? You still have 40 seconds. You're fine. You're, you're fine time-wise. Okay, you're going to take the convection oven back and head over to the Okay, very good. Right over here. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, she tried a little too hard. You, you were taking the drop in shop. You drop a little too literally there, Scott. But uh, you must be in shape for part of that skating that you do, right? Yeah. You were trucking. You made it to almost every box in half the time in 45 seconds. To the last box, so that was incredible. All right. We're going to try to get you guys to Cancun. To do that, we need $2,500 worth of products in here. We start off with Bob's Camera Shop, and we come out with a camera. Vivitar's innovative 450 PC camera, built-in 3870mm power zoom lens and sophisticated electronic flash. Beautiful pictures, from scenics to portraits, from Vivitar. Be nice to take pictures in Cancun with that camera, it's worth $38. Next up, 24 carats. That, of course, is our jewelry store, and inside a beautiful piece of jewelry. D. Protons, ladies, and gents, two-tone bracelet watches. Micron 23 karat gold-plated, Roman numerals on bezel, mineral crystal, water-resistant. From Croton Watch Company. Retail value is $3. Yeah. Okay, 1962. That's a great date, and it's also the number that you need to hit at this point from here on in in the next four boxes. Andrew's Art Mart is next. And inside, well, I'll bet you this represents something. Is that right, Dee? Yes, from Scott Arts Graphics. Special delivery. A whimsical sign and numbered lithograph portraying the greatest gift of all. The birth of a baby. From renowned primitive artist Jane Wooster Scott. Retail value on this one is $300. Good. 1662 now to go. RCA BMG Music and Video Store. You took back the Auric Vacuum. You took it to this music store. The vacuum was worth $400. Let's see how it right, paid off right. in the trade. Take a look inside here and come back out with this. All right. All right. This Magnavox Mini Hi-Fi Shelf System features a programmable five-disc CD carousel, surround sound outputs, digital sound control, dual cassette decks, and stereo digital tuner. From Magnavox, smart, very smart. Retail value, 330 right. now. 
1332 as we go to the greenery next and come back out with this D. Beautiful garden paths, walkways, and steps with elegant and functional Malibu outdoor tier lights. The ultimate contemporary designs in low voltage landscape lighting from Malibu. Retail value on this one is $455. Okay. Eight. 77 to go in order to go to Cancun. We know there's one store in the mall that has a prize worth over $700, sometimes well over $700. Let's hope it's Heidi's Housewares. We come back out with a cutlery set, D. Cutco's Galley Set Plus 6 combines seven of the most popular kitchen knives with six meat knives for the table in a handsome wood block. Made in America by Cutco. We need it to be worth $877. The actual retail value is $486. Didn't do it. We get to keep all of this stuff on the show. You won a lot of nice prizes here. So good job with that. By the way, it was Chuck's department store had the prize worth over 700 this time. Sorry, you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. See you next time on the new Shop You Drop.